Good evening. My name is Alex Sturgeon. Uh, I'm here for Module 6 of American Revolution 512. Um, this week we'll be discussing the importance of field trips and the educational value of those. And I have chosen Boston Freedom Freedom Trail. Excuse me. I cannot speak tonight. Um, so first off, I would like to start off with the importance of field trips. Guys, um, if I'm sure I know there's probably a few teachers in here. Um, I can't tell you, and I'm sure you'd agree with me, that there's a huge educational value in field trips, especially in history, which seemingly is being history, in my opinion, feels like it's being thrown off by the wayside in education. Um, and that's communicated to the students, and the students react appropriately. Um, so any chance I can get to put students in places where historical events took place or put at least let the, allow them that at least allows them to get in the mindset or at least assist them in getting the mindset of this historical event is significant because blank um, is invaluable to me as an educator. Um, so if I had an unlimited amount of money and I could take my students anywhere I wanted, uh, I would probably take them to Boston because it holds such is held in such reverence in in American history and that being said that's why I chose Boston Freedom Trail is because it is perfect for field trips um, so I would like to name off a few of the places if that if I was planning a trip um, where I would where I would take them and why um, fo so the first place I would take them and where the Boston Freedom Trail starts is the Boston Commons um, it's the oldest American public park um, this land was plotted um, or sorry, was purchased by Puritans and established as a park in 1634. It's Amer it's Boston's oldest park. Um, next on the list would be the Granary Burial Grounds. Um, this is named after the grain storage unit that was located across the street. Um, but this is a very significant place because um, it is the, lo the location and burial sites of very significant American Revolution heroes and figures. Um, now this one is significant because it kind of is the burial grounds for these American Revolution or is seen as but at least as those. Um, so notable figures are Ben Franklin's parents are buried buried there, along with Jan John Hancock, Paul Revere, James Otis, Samuel Adams. Uh, there's also a commemorative headstone for um, the victims of the Boston Massacre. Um, so this is um, now. Burial grounds kind of give me the creeps, uh, but at the same time, these people are insanely significant um, to the cause of the American Revolution and deserve to be seen, in my opinion. Next would be King's Chapel and King's Chapel burial grounds. Now, this is one that is different than the first burial ground because this is more has to do with the people who founded Boston as a whole. Um, so you'll find like the first governor, John Winthrop, or you'll find... Uh, Mary Clinton, uh, the first lady off of the, May the Mayflower. These are people that are significant to the founding of Boston. Um, so this is they more set up. This is more of a colonial burial ground as far as the age of it, um, whereas the first one, the last one, was more about the American Revolution. Um, next would be the Boston Latin School. This is America's first and oldest public school established in 1635. Um, there's a statue of Ben Franklin out there due to his, you know, he's known for his fan being a fan of education and also the statue there is the actual original location of this school um, next place is the old south meeting house um, this is the home of many tax debates many town hall meetings many sermons and this is actually where the idea of the boston tea party, tea party is conceptualized um, and starts next is the boston massacre site obviously this has huge impact of american history um, then there's Paul Revere's house, the old North Church, uh, which is where Paul Revere communicates the one if by land, two if by sea, uh, to establish this communication with his community and um, himself to alert them about the British coming. Um, next is the USS Constitution, as we know it is old Ironside. Uh, it's the oldest commissioned warship still floating today. Um, and then I would end my trip, my field trip, at the Battle of Bunker Hill, Bunker Hill Memorial Monument. Now, this is significant because it's the first major battle of the American Revolution. Um, 
and it was really a symbol for the war and the people who fought in the war of they might have lost that battle but they never gave up and they kept fighting and it's overall it's just a huge symbolic um monument of american um determination i guess is the best way to put it so i'm running out of time um thank you for listening and i look forward to hearing your comments thank you very much have a good night